So, 11, 12 years ago, I worked an office job, and I wrote this poem. And I have a cat hair in my mouth. <laughs> This pencil. This pencil keeps staring at me, motionless, watching my every move. It's had to have been here since I've been here. Oh, how it must have giggled to itself while I fell asleep at my desk on numerous occasions throughout each day, staring, motionless. It has to know I've caught on. Now I'm staring. What took me so long to notice? So busy staring at airplanes and wrecked cars outside my window, scanning card after card after card, sneaking animal crackers out of my snack drawer, and shooting myself strange looks in the hand mirror my boss gave me to admire myself in all day as I work, drawing hearts and X's and circle figures. Writing down things in hopes of being creative while trapped in this cubicle in a small office off Johnson where generator sets are sold. Really? You? In an office? Are you bored? If the endless pictures of office supplies, strange last names, and myself with different foods in my mouth are not signs enough for you to tell, yes, I am bored. Mind-numbingly bored. It's time, thank God, a meeting to learn something new. Something that doesn't involve scanning card after card after card. Wait. Nothing. I've learned nothing. A meeting to argue as I just sit and watch and learn nothing. I'm back at my desk, sneaking animal crackers, scanning cards, and this pencil still stares. I feel like a little kid on time out, entertaining myself with whatever I can find, hiding it and pretending to be doing as I was told when I hear footsteps approach. My drawings are getting repetitive. The faces I'm making at myself in the hand mirror gift from my boss keep getting more contorted as the day continues on. It's a shame to watch time slowly melt away while begging and pleading for it to go faster. Life is so short, but the hours in this corner are so effing long. Fully assembled apparently doesn't translate into Spanish, for it is the only English phrase on the box for the table fan sitting on my bookshelf. Another card through the scanner, another face in the mirror, another strong urge to draw a heart, circle, or an X and color it in. Company, first name, last name, title, address, city, zip code, state, country, phone, fax, email, repeat. I can hear voices from conversations I'm not having with people. Another face. Then is, there's a fuzz in my hair. Bill Lumberg is in the corner across from mine. He hates Krusty the Clown because he is always microwaving food right outside his office and asking for answers to everything instead of looking it up. Not a day goes by that ink doesn't end up somewhere on my skin, intentionally. Thank you again, Mirror, for showing me how... <laughs> I need sun and how the inside of my mouth looks. <laughs> All of these names are so dull. Jerry, Fred, Bill. Give me more cards from Japan so I can make failed attempts at pronouncing them. Some old wrecked cars out of my window. No giant man-driven machinery smashing things today. I should take another swig of my orange water. But I just want normal water. Stanley Bostitch. What a rad name for a stapler. I think I'll take a picture. I have to pee. Score! Something to kill the next five minutes dead. I think I'll hold it for three more minutes so I can start at 11. Seems like a good way to start the last hour before lunch. One more card. Damn. Another Jerry. <laughs> I'm quite fond of that poem to this day. Okay, thanks for listening. <laughs> Getting in the dog treats? Those aren't for you. Your treats are down here. <laughs> I think this is where I sit now. I fit.
it. I said. <laughs> What's up there? What's up there? Nothing. Nothing. Coda. I'm trying to get you to go outside. Are you just enjoying your nap? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Coda's loving this catnip toy I made for him. <laughs> I was inspired by this octopus that my aunt made. Obviously, it's nothing close to it. I'll show you that in a second. But I just put some legs on this thing and put some catnip in the body. <laughs> this is the most interested I've seen him in a toy I've made without me having to play with it with him. This is the toy my aunt made. Obviously just a little bit more detailed. But that's not the kind of thing I want to make for a cat to destroy. So this works for me.